Hey Aquarius, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Just Be Tarot. My name is Michelle. Thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes, and shares, Aquarius. We're going to do a new reading. I want to say thank you to Lisa. I finally got my cards. Lisa sent in a donation to the channel, and I brought some cards, and they have finally arrived. I'm super uber excited to use them. So let's get right into your energy. Well, Aquarius, Sun, the Rising, North Node, and Jupiter. Let's see the message. It's regarding current energy, whatever spirit wants you to know, okay? So, Aquarius, you can have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini significantly in your chart. You don't have to. Take the message as they resonate. Take them as they apply, Aquarius. Don't hold on to anything that doesn't belong to you, okay? So, let's see. For Aquarius, Summer Rising, North Node, and Jupiter, Holy Spirit, please. Aquarius, Holy Spirit, clear and concise messages of truth, love, and guidance for Aquarius. We have the title card. Hmm. I'm getting right down everything, right down um, what you remember of your past. For some of you, you may be trying to remember a time. Um and share this energy okay so perhaps speak with your elder in your family i also feel the energy that some of you you want to be you are so thankful for those who are in your life who love you who truly truly love you who truly truly care about you you may want to share that with them let them know healer is here. You have the soul of a healer, Aquarius. You are being called to release your inner healer and trust your gifts. For some of you, you can literally create something with this title card. I feel this energy where you can literally be a creator of something that pertains to healing. There's also an energy of giving gratitude to those who love you, who you love them, you cherish them being in your life because there's not, I'm getting this energy like there's not that many people who truly, that you know have your back, that truly love you and care about you. And you may want to let them know, you may be being asked to, I don't know, share your inner feelings, share your thoughts here. But you're definitely being asked to tap into your inner healer and trust your gifts at this time. Oh, wow. And then we have, we meet again. Someone from your past has or is about to resurface in your life. Take notice. There is a lesson to be learned from this person. Because I was saying um, there may be someone or some bodies in your life that you want to give gratitude towards. There's something about this person also. I feel like there have been ups and downs. I feel like um, it hasn't been easy, but um, there's gratitude in what they have taught you or there's gratitude in what they are about to teach you. Some of you, um, you and this person together are supposed to heal one another The next card we have is transition. You are transitioning from the patterns of the past into a new spiritual pattern. Acknowledge that your old patterns served a purpose for you before. Be grateful for them and allow yourself to transition into a new energy. Yeah, so there's a whole lot of transformative energy around you, Aquarius. And like I said, there may be an energy here where this person um, could be a family member. It could be a best friend. It could be... Um, anyone there's something about you guys healing on your own and now coming together to finalize the healing or something like that it could be a complete turnaround with this person with the transition oh my goodness bottom of the deck we have soulmate and we know that soulmates can be anyone right it doesn't have to be a particular um romantic partner or it could be okay it could be anybody it states you have a deep connection with someone in your life passion, emotions, and excitement. The next card we have here is forward movement. You are on a path of forward momentum. Lessons have been learned from past lives and the current. Positive changes are coming.
The next card you have is Fire Energy. So it could be a Leo, an Aries, a Sagittarius. It could be anybody. But this Fire Energy is very passionate. It's very fiery. It's, um, you know, creative. Your soul has been filled with a new passion or the passion from another lifetime that is being reborn within you. Allow yourself to move forward with passion, with creativity and renewal. Like the phoenix, now is the time to create something new out of the old energies of the past. So there's these lessons that you have gone through have brought out the healer in you because you had to heal yourself. We'll get more into it in one more second here. We do have truth. Excuse any background noise, guys, okay? We have truth. The truth card states the information that you are receiving about your past lives has been hard for you to accept. Accept it as truth and allow yourself to feel the emotions behind it, Aquarius. This is very, 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 very interesting. Okay, I'm really thankful for these cards. So let's see, Aquarius, let's get into this. Like I was saying, there's something, some of you may be trying to dig up your past or try to figure out something about the past, something in a family dynamic, um, something about your roots. You may also be doing something like an um, ancestry tree. Yeah, ancestry.com. Some of you, you may have tried to do that. You may have thought about doing that. You may have tried to figure out your origin, like where you come from, from way back. So again, like I mentioned, some of you may be being asked to ask your elder of your family. There's usually always one person, old or not, that kind of has a photographic memory. They remember everything, okay? And when you talk to this person, maybe you might want to jot down notes. Also an energy here where Spirit God Source may be giving you information in your dreams, there's also an energy here where there may be someone coming to you from your dreams from a past life who are giving you information. It's important for you to write it down. I feel like um, also keep a journal because your memory may kick up because you're, you're now putting energy into this. So your memory may pick up. Whatever you focus on, it, it, it opens up. It expands, okay, especially since we're in the season of Sagittarius, okay? Jupiter energy. But a lot of expansion is happening here. Um, with this 34 here breaking down to a 7, it definitely 7s talk about the past for me. This particular card is stating that um, in your soul, Aquarius, you are a healer. You always have been. You were born a healer. And at this time of your life, especially if you're around 30, 34, between the ages of 30, 34, you know, all the way up is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, there's an energy here where at this time you're being called to release that inner healer within you and trust your gifts. I've been saying for a while, Spirit God Source has been giving me the insight that Aquarius is, um, and everyone's, everyone, to be honest, their gifts, their clairs, their psychic abilities, their third eye chakra, it's all growing, the crown chakra. There's all of this leveling up that's happening. And for you, it's almost like the past is meeting up with you here in the present here. And it's challenging you to trust yourself. Trust your gifts. If you've been a person who is, if you always second guess yourself, that is supposed to leave. Okay? Because I'm sure Spirit God Source has shown you signs and synchronicities that your gut, um, your intuition has been dead on. So there's no need for you to struggle with that anymore. Actually, Spirit wants you to embrace it. Embrace the healer within you. Then we move into this energy here of, um, okay, my guys are redirecting me. They're saying that the soulmate card goes with this letter. There's a letter. There's some type of contract that you have with this person. The soulmate you have a deep connection with someone in your life, Aquarius, and they are here in the physical 3D world. This is a contract that you have, and you may be picking it to dig deeper. You may be getting these urges. You may be asking confirmation from people, okay? So I'm also getting the energy that um, this contract, it may go way back, okay? 
It may be that you guys have been reborn, but you're here now. You're here in this physical reality now, but the connection may go back many lives. You ever seen that movie with Will Smith? And um, the lady is married to somebody else. I forgot the name of that movie. The lady, she's married to someone else, but um, Will Smith and the woman, I forgot her the actress name, they um, had, they've been married for many, 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 many lives. They always find their way back to one another. But whenever they get together, there's something traumatic that happens. That's the energy I'm getting. So, like I said, a soulmate can be anybody. It could be a child, a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, a bestie, a pet. It could be anybody. And it will be different for all of you. This healer energy and this forward movement. Spirit is saying you are on the path of forward momentum after a time of not having that. After a time of almost quiet contemplation. After a time of almost hermit energy. Because spirit has been trying to get your attention about not only healing yourself, but your abilities is what I'm feeling. And on a mundane level, it may have felt like, no, that's not the reason why I was being still because I ain't have, you know, I got, I got laid off of my job or I had an injury or I had an illness or I had a, you know, a family I had to take care of. Or I had this or I had that. Spirit God Source does things in all different kinds of ways that we cannot phantom. Okay. But in, during this season, Spirit is saying forward movement is available for you. And it says lessons have been learned from past lives and the current life. Positive changes are coming. I think I showed you this already, but I'm going to show it to you again. Positive changes are coming. For those of you who are doubting it, shift your energy, okay? We meet again. It's a number 12 breaking down to a 3. Someone from your past has or is about to resurface in your life, Aquarius. Please take notice because there is a lesson to be learned from this person and they could have fire energy. They could be a very passionate person, romantic or non-romantic. It says your soul has been filled and this is a number six, 42 breaking down to a six with this 12 breaking down to a three. You are being supported. I feel like this person is going to support you. Again, I feel that some of you, you're going to go into some type of um, collaboration together, partnership, romantic, friendship, alliance, networking, business, whatever. It says your soul has been filled with a new passion or the passion from another lifetime that is being reborn within you or within this person. And it's shared energy. Allow yourself to move forward with passion, creativity, and renewal like a phoenix. Now is the time to create something new out of the old energies from the past. This could also be a Scorpio or some kind of water sign. It could be anybody. Okay, but I am getting Scorpio energy. Something is being re, um, revisited here in your life. And Spirit is asking you to basically um, create something new out of old. So transform and transmute something into something good. There's an opportunity to do that. It's going to work well for you and this person. I'm hearing, heal the world, make it a better place for me and for you and the entire human race. There are people dying and the world around is giving me a better place for you and for me. Heal the world. I'm getting a remix. Heal the world. <laughs> I'm so silly. My spirit guides are silly. Okay. But I am here in remix. There's going to be a remix, a redo, a reassessment, a regrouping, a reestablishment. I'm hearing the end of December, maybe even January, maybe in your season, January, February. But I'm hearing the end of December as well. That may be when this happens. I'm not sure. Heal the world. Make it a better place. We have transition. Okay, so number 14, it breaks down to a five, which talks about change. You have both numbers here, 14 and 41. It may mean something to you. It may not. When you break these numbers down, it's five and five. So you could even be 55 years old. 
You could be 44. You are supported. You also have um, 22 here. You have 77. And you have the 8 um, as one of the first numbers, which talks about infinity. So with transition, we have you are transitioning from the patterns of the past into a new spiritual pattern. Acknowledge that your old pattern served you a purpose before, but now you are being asked to be grateful for those times because it has made you wiser. It has built you up. Be grateful for them and allow yourself to transition into a new energy. You don't have to hold on to this energy anymore. Didn't I put up a reading about the no more struggle, struggle no more? That's what this is saying. The old is the old. Everything is falling to the wayside. It's almost like you're getting a new opportunity, a new chance, a fresh start to change something, to move in new energy that is more light. Standing in your truth, standing in your integrity, being who you were born to be. We had to go through some lessons, Aquarius. It will be different for everybody what particular lessons we've gone through and why. You know your situation better than I do, but I see here the spirit is saying, stand in your truth. It's a new day. This 14 up here is the transition. This 41, which the 14 moves to the 41. That's a lot of years. That's a lot of time. From 14 to 41, it says the information that you are receiving about your past has been hard for you to accept. Accept it as truth and allow yourself to feel the emotions behind it. This will help you to move forward, Aquarius, okay? There's some things that we it's just mind-blowing. We can't, we can't fathom why people would do what they would do. We can't fathom why we were chosen to go through this particular lesson, right? but you are being given a new chance. You just have to let go of the past energies. Holy Spirit, please provide clear and accurate messages regarding this spread for Aquarius, please. And thank you so much. Clear and concise messages. Yes, something is dead, something is done. You're going to win by any means necessary. Something's done. And there's also an energy here where there may have been um, some secrets, okay? And that's why you're doing, you're in search of. But I feel, you know, this is past energy. Some of you, you may have already done some digging or whatever this contract is. Like I said, it may have gone um, for many lifetimes, okay? Um, I'm still trying to figure out the name of that Will Smith movie. I forgot. I'm hearing get on with get on with living your best life. What are you waiting for? Get on with it. Now you have a new slate. So this like I said, I'm hearing the end of December, but it could be January, February, like your season. What's this? Ace of Cups. Yes. True love, romance, love yourself. There had to be some healing. Yeah, I'm getting. That's what I'm getting, Aquarius. There's some type of contract that you have to heal the world, make it a better place. But it's not you alone. It's you and somebody or somebody's. Don't you have you ever noticed that this card says Ace of Cups with an Ace with an S as opposed to Ace of Cup with this one cup? It's many. Okay. It's more than one. There's healing here. And there's a contract of love. What's this? Oh, boy. Emperor. Emperor. Now, the emperor could be a, um, definitely a person, um, a significant person um, in your life. But it could also be a business partner. It could also be a father. It could be you tapping into your masculine energy, male or female. These are not gender specific readings at all. Um, this could be you stepping into your masculine energy, um, allowing your masculine energy to take the lead, to do, to take action, to step into your power. Okay. Um, it also states stability, order, power, and protection. Okay. So there's also an energy here 
of protection. Okay, so this connection has been protected throughout the test of time. For some of you, this is an Aries or a water sign. Okay, but the moon here, um, the moon talks about fear. Okay, not only does it talk about fear, but it talks about the hidden realms. Again, those past lives, those past portals. It also talks about, you know, um, being fearful, okay? Um, the illusion. I feel that someone is breaking through the veil. There's energies breaking through the veil to begin anew with the Ace of Cups. It says you have a deep connection with someone in your life. Passion, emotions, and excitement. So again, take it as it resonates. This could be a business partner. This could be a... Um, relationship and regarding romance it could be a brother a sister a mother a father an uncle a great grandfather it could be anyone so you look deeper into your life and you put on your discernment so that you can see what this message is saying for you in your life what is this oh boy oh wow These both came out together that was stuck. Let's see. The energy that I'm feeling here over the healer, again, you had to go through some things from a child. It could have even been abandonment issues. It could have. It could have been abandonment issues. Abandonment of, it could be lapsed memory. It could be literally feeling abandoned and left out. Literally feeling like a black sheep. Literally feeling Oust, ostracized within a family dynamic since a small child. It could be. Um, for others of you, um, with the Nine of Wands coming out reverse, with the Ten of Cups, you may have gave up regarding family. You may have gave up on a family member. It could be um, anyone, a mother, father, sister, brother, a child. It could be these things that have held you back. But now... With the five of pentacles coming, with the nine of pentacles, you're definitely um, taking back your control here. With the nine of pentacles, this is you feeling content, ready to move forward. It's over this forward movement card, okay? So really ready to move forward after feeling this way, five of pentacles. But you can see the lightning there, which is your energy, Aquarius. I do feel that you're getting epiphanies. You're getting messages in your sleep space. You're getting messages to your crown chakra. You're receiving these epiphanies. I really do feel the energy here. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, there's a lingering four, okay? So you've been secured. You've been protected throughout this storm. When you feel alone, you're really never alone, Aquarius. You've been um, watched over during hard times, okay? The Nine of Pentacles does talk about abundance. It does talk about discipline, and it does talk about um, self-reliance, okay? You've had to learn how to heal yourself, with the healer here, I feel like you gave up on yourself, okay, at times, rather, okay, um, but with the Ten of Cups here over the Nine of Wands reverse, the Wounded Warrior, here you are um, able to get your power back. This is allowing your inner child to smile, to laugh, to create, to have fun, to be loved, loving on your inner child. It's very happy, free, vibrant, and, and liberated energy. I'm getting release with the balloons going up like that. It's like it's being released, okay? Allowing your um, joy, peace to take over at this time, all right? Um, for some of you, this is somebody else's energy coming in towards you, and you both have healed separately, and now you can literally come back together to, like, almost close out and complete the whole cycle with a 10 here. Close out and complete the whole cycle with the two nines here. There's also an energy with this five of pentacles. Somebody may have really gone through something. Um, okay. Well, that's evident, right? Take the message as it resonates, Aquarius. We meet again. What is this about, please? Right here. With the fire energy and we meet again for Aquarius summarizing. 
Mark Node and Jupiter, Holy Spirit, please. There's love here, but I feel that two people, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups minus this Ace of Cups is Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Cups, um, there may have been healing in two separate places. Two separate people or many, okay? Take it as it resonates. Love, truth, and guidance. You hear all of these sirens while I'm doing this reading? It's a little excessive, right? Yeah, seven of pentacles, helping something to grow. Long-term investments and getting the results that you want. We meet again. I definitely feel that these um, sirens are omens, okay, Aquarius? Definitely. With the two of pentacles and the eight of wands here, the eight of wands is that Sagittarius energy. It is fire shooting your best shot or someone shooting their best shot, taking a chance to communicate, taking a chance to create rapid change in your life. This could be the messages coming in from the ethers, your spirit guides sending you messages to create rapid change in your life. And you may be trying to decode these messages you may feel, okay, because I'm getting with the two of pentacles, I'm getting numerology, okay, with the two of pentacles, and it's like you're trying to decipher the messages is what I'm getting here, okay, but you definitely have some kind of negotiation coming through that could potentially bring the results that you want in from with someone, all right, long-term, beautiful results here. It's the gift that keeps on giving the seven of pentacles is okay so let's do this seven of pentacles plus the nine i mean seven of pentacles plus the two equals nine of pentacles this is feeling content this is feeling happy this is feeling fulfilled it says here we meet again someone from your past has or is about to resurface in your life take notice there is a lesson to be learned from this person about how you can move on, perhaps how you can communicate, let go and let God, how you can communicate or how you can um, choose to move forward. This fire energy, it says your soul has been filled with new passion or the passion from another lifetime is being reborn within you. So allow yourself to move forward with passion and creativity and renewal. Just like the Phoenix, now is the time to create something new out of something old. I feel that you can definitely do that. The two of pentacles minus the seven is that five of pentacles that's over here, okay? Um, these two together also equal that nine of pentacles. So this could be definitely with a Virgo or a fire sign with Virgo in their chart. This could be you. This could all just be you. This could all be a representation of you, but I do feel there's somebody else here. I feel like there's like three other people here. The nine of wands minus the eight of wands is ace of wands. Brand new passionate beginnings. Brand new creative beginnings. Success. It's available for you to create something new in your path. This is a time where you could literally write a new story, a new chapter in your life. You can literally create a new chapter in your life by closing out the old. It's time to let it go. No more struggling. Mm -mm. Nope. Let's see. What is this transition? Oh. So we have the Hierophant. It's, it's trying to show itself. Um, oh, okay. All of these are reversed. All right. That makes more sense. So the Hierophant. More pentacle energy. This is Taurus. Okay. But this is talking about a spiritual. Um, it talks about spiritual wisdom. It talks about um, spiritual mediation. It talks about belief systems. It's a number five. It talks about change. It talks about devotion. So now you have five, five, five. I'm getting the age five as well. Something significant may have happened at age five, age 14, or in between those ages. Or these are numbers that are just um, signs and synchronicities for you. But the sun is peaking. There is a change happening in, um, in a situation that has been long standing. 
you know, the Pope energy reminds me of something that has been a belief that has been long, long, long standing, right? Capricorn energy is what I'm getting. Something that has been standing for a long time that has refused to change. The sun is peeking out now. There's something that's being revealed. Something is changing. Spirit is saying, be grateful for the changes and allow yourself to transition into this new energy here. Okay? Standing your truth. Speak your truths and let it go. Write it down and let it go. Whatever it is you need to do to transmute and transition through to this new portal that you have available for you. Yup, double and reverse. See, these ain't these are not reversed this time, but the devil wanted to come out reverse. You see that? Let it go. Someone is willing to let go of a beef or a uh, um, guilt or of uh, something that has held them bound, something that has held them chained, something that has kept them in the grips of some type of belief that it no longer, it should no longer be standing no more. Mm -mm. No, I see here the Ten of Pentacles. I also see here the um, Page of Swords. It could have been something in the family that was making someone unhappy. But with the, with the Two of Cups here, someone is now receiving this energy of cutting through the illusion of whatever was keeping them bondage from feeling secure, safe, whole. They're standing in their truth now. Mm -hmm. What is this for Aquarius, please, Holy Spirit? Clear and concise messages of love, truth, and guidance for Aquarius Nation. Whatever it was, yeah. Oh, wow. Ascension. We do have Twin Flame here. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. But you can see it says Ascension. Ascension, Divinity, and the Soul. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Spirit wants to give you peace of mind because you came here to win. You are being justified. You're being given new beginnings here, Aquarius. Here you are. I brought this one for the top of the deck. I don't know why the Queen of Swords always wants to come out for you, okay? As opposed to the King. You know, the Queen of Swords is more discerning, very intuitive, very independent, very um, direct. You know, you know the stigma they put on the Queen of Swords. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, your intuition, love, wisdom, all of those abilities being heightened, right? The Queen of Cups is... Um, I always say as a reader to me, the energy of the Queen of Cups is someone who is emotionally attached to the past. That's why she's always looking back. Yeah, she's always looking back at what would have been or what should have been or, and you know, she's in her feelings because she's very intuitive and sensitive at the same time. And she could be very, very moody. And so this may have been what it was, but it looks as though you're standing in your truth with your sensitivity, but you're moving more um, in a clear and direct energy and you're ready to um, take action. You're motivated to move forward. You're motivated to help to bring forth this new energy, Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities. It's prosperity, definitely, but it's also trusting, okay? You're willing. There's this energy here that Spirit God Source says that that's what it shall be. Anyway, you are a winner. You were never supposed to. Um, it wasn't a life sentence. It was a lesson. Okay. Now you're being um, given this public recognition. You're also being given this triumph, this success. Okay. This karmic justice is coming. You're being given peace of mind. You're being given this. Um, ascension, okay, leveling up. Aquarius, I kind of feel the energy here also that, you know, you're the water barrier, right? You're the water barrier. You hold the water, the jug of water in your hands. It's because of your wisdom. The water that you hold is your, it's, it's, um, it's your emotions that you hold in your hands 
so that you can be detached from it. You don't allow the emotions to affect you like others do. You hold it. You hold your emotions and you examine them. You, you review them. You examine them. You detach from them. But with this card coming up, it's being integrated, I feel, with the ascension and this rest and peace of mind. I feel that it's going to make you so much more powerful. There's an integration that is happening here. Again, you're transitioning the energies. You're taking the old and you're mixing it and transmuting it into something new. And there's also someone else who is ready to do the same. There's somebody who you have a deep connection with who is ready to heal and reveal their feelings. They're no longer fearful. Or like I said, this could be you. All of it could be you. So spiritual protection came out for you. Spiritual protection. And it states, you are being, you are being protected over, I'm sorry, you are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. We have emerald. And it states, ceremonies and celebrations, it's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries. Increased support with the um, apopololite. I don't know what that says. Um, but it says here, your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of high, of high help and opportunities. Okay, wow. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have amber. And it says, give it to God. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release the situation to God for healing and for answers. And then lastly, we have rhodochosite. And it says, be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. And then we have paradite. Wow, I have a lot of cards to read for you. And it says life lessons. You can you can break free from the recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lessons and blessings that the lessons contain. Oh, know the lessons and the blessings they contain. I'm sorry, guys. I could hardly see it because of the light glaring off of this. Last card, okay? It says, oh, no, the last two cards. The last three cards. <laughs> it says answered prayers and it's um, unikite. And it says all your great work has opened the door for divine situations and support. And then we have healthy communication in relationships. You see why I had to take that, okay? And it says aqua aura. Aqua aura. And it says heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand what is to be understood. Okay. Lastly, love life. Rose quartz. And it states new and re re new or renewed romantic loves are here for you. 